Hi, I'm Lucy, and in this two-part video, I'm going to show you two different ways to easily remember some exact trig values. So there are some certain angles that have exact trig values that we just need to know. These are for 0 degrees 30, 45, 60 and 90. They do carry on above 90, but we only need to worry about these ones. So these exact values come from the unit circle and sine, cos and tan are actually functions that repeat forever. But that's a whole other topic, so we don't need to worry about that. In this video, we're just going to learn what the values are. So part one, we're going to use a table. And then if that table doesn't work for you, you might prefer part two, where I'll show you a hand trick that just involves counting fingers. Right, so as I told you, the angles are 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. And we'll start with sine first. All you need to remember is to divide by 2 and square root on top. Start from 0 and work up. So sine 0 degrees is root 0 divided by 2. Sine of 30 is root 1 divided by 2. 45 is root 2 divided by 2. 60 is root 3 divided by 2 and 90 is root 4 divided by 2. And we can simplify some of these. So for 0 degrees, that simplifies to 0. For 30 degrees, it simplifies to a half. And for 90 degrees, it simplifies to 1. Not that hard. So now let's look at cos. We do the exact same thing of dividing by 2 and square rooting on top. But this time, we start from 4 and work down. So cos of 0 degrees is root 4 divided by 2. Cos 30 is root 3 divided by 2. 45 is root 2 divided by 2. 60 is root 1 divided by 2. And 90, root 0 divided by 2. And again, we can cancel these down to 1, a half, and 0. So for tan, it's just a little bit different. We divide the sine by the cos. So tan 0 would be 0 divided by 1. Tan 30 would be a half divided by root 3 over 2. Tan 45 is root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2. 60 would be root 3 over 2 divided by a half. And tan 90 is 1 divided by 0. So we can cancel these down. Tan of 0 would be 0, 30 would be 1 divided by root 3, 45 is just 1, 60 is root 3, and tan 90. Type into your calculator 1 divided by 0, and it will say math error. We can't do that. Right, so it wasn't that hard, was it? You just need to remember to divide by 2 and square root on top. For sine, we start from 0 and work up, and for cos, we start from 4 and work down. Remember that the angles are 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. And that for tan, we just have to divide the sine by the cos. Not hard. If that table doesn't work for you and you think you'll forget it, watch part 2 where I'll show you how to use your hand and just count fingers to work out those same values.